the church of a preacher named Roy Masters. Come out. No. I won't let her go. No. Exorcisms of the devil appear just as sincere, far out, and dramatic. You lost your power. You get out of here. With a background in show business rather than theology. Show business rather than theology. Indeed, the army does officially recognize Satanism as a legitimate religion and supplies chaplains with this guide for ministering to the satanic soldier. Some charge that army bases have become sanctuaries for devil worshippers. And the graffiti. 666, the sign of the devil. Over here, a bloody skull and crossbones. This is a pentacle. The interesting thing about this pentacle is it's an upright pentacle. Let me see. It's, well, it's actually fairly fresh. This is how gangs talk to each other, okay? But now this is how occultists talk to each other. This here is a psilocybin mushroom. So probably um, they had a, a psilocybin ritual. Mike Warnke is a former Satanist. Today he's a successful comedian, preaching Christianity in the form of humor. But back in the 60s, he was one of Satanism's high priests. Uh, the things that you would see in a satanic altar. He showed us what a satanic temple might resemble and typical implements used to worship the devil. The bones usually are used in a ceremony that calls for uh, telling the future. I have a, an old three-inch scar here on my wrist where my friends used to cut my arm open and bleed my blood into a cup and drink it mixed with wine and urine four times a year as a ceremony to Satan. In May of 1982, Teenagers of a congregation in Topeka, Kansas, destroyed thousands of dollars worth of records and tapes, which they felt contained the message of Satan. The Christian concern sheds light on a more secular aspect of music listening. It's what you don't hear. Certain parts of, of the men's uniforms all accentuate uh, the genitals of a male. Faceless creatures in robes that to me would, uh, from my study, certainly symbolize druids, which of course go back to uh, Satan worship. In the blood stains, there is very definitely, without any shadow of a doubt here, a face of Satan. For the purposes of this study, we will focus on the number 666 and its use in the Universal Product Code. Most people don't realize that 80% of all toys on the market have occultic influence, and these are the most popular. It says here that uh, it actually makes the wings move, so let me uh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Remember those uh, verses in the book of Revelation about the flying beast with the riders on them? This could actually be taken from uh, Revelations. You'll notice that they're depicted as blue with black lips. Well, isn't that interesting? And you know what happens to you when you die? You turn blue and your lips turn black. Smurfs has gone occultic. Very much so. Smurfs carry a homosexual connotation in that most of them are male. I believe so. Snake Mountain. It's got an interesting little feature here. I'm going to turn it on. It can actually transform your voice from uh, your regular voice to that of an occultic hero. Is that yeah. correct? Let me turn this on here. I, I think I'm getting it too loud. Skeletor, the master of the universe. And I've reverse thread the machine, and I'm going to play that exact piece of tape backwards now. Okay. I live with Satan, exactly. And it, then you'll hear there's power in Satan. Who's there? Who's power in Satan? He will give you six, six, six. Yeah. Listen to heavy metal music. The devil will make you kill your mom. 